Um, speaking of supplements, you know, um, I know just by working in one of the stores that half the stuff in there, like 80% of the stuff are banned supplements. Um, what do you, how do you know what to take and what not to take? I got, I got a question. What do you think about chocolate? What, what, what do you want to do with chocolate now? You think I've been troubled with stuff. Tarver? He got, he got caught with the steroids? I don't know, you know, um, I, you know, steroids, all, you know, all the PEDs, the supplements, it's, it's gotten out of hand, you know, um, I, I mean, the way I think about it is they let Roger Clemens off the hook, but they crucified Barry Bonds. Now, Roger Clemens, his own trainer slash personal, you know, uh, personal, you know, friend, the guy he took on vacation with him and his family, like, he took that guy's family and Roger's family on vacation, he spent half of, you know, like, years with this guy, talking to him, becoming friends with him, you know, inviting him over for, for dinner, cookouts, you know, um, big fights, whatnot, you know, he paid this guy $150,000 checks, and the guy turns around and tells on him, you know, I hear he's writing a book about it now. You know, it, it, it's despicable. It, it is. And Barry Bonds has never, ever been tested or, or never, never been tested positive for a PED, ever. No one's ever said, I've seen him taking this, you know. And, and, and look what they did to him, you know, just because he was going to break somebody's record. A lot of people think that Matty Pacquiao on his rise to superstardom you know, was on all this kind of thing. I mean, if you look at, I was at the um, Pacquiao versus uh, Barrera too. At the weigh-in, it looked bad. Manny looked anorexic. I turned around and um, Robert Garcia looked at me and said, "Oh, he's having trouble at this weight. I think this is his last fight at that weight. I don't think he can make make it anymore. He looks bad. He looks weak." Eight months later. He's fighting David Diaz at 135, and his arms look shredded. Now, that's not proof. Just because I say that doesn't make it gospel he was on steroids. But it makes you wonder, right? It definitely makes you wonder. Now, I'm thinking one day something similar to Roger Clemens is going to happen to him because he, he, he's known to qu keep, uh, keep quite the entourage, right? Manny Pacquiao takes care of a lot of people. He takes care of a lot of people. Maybe one day one of those people is going to feel unwanted or uh, maybe left out. Maybe they deserve something. No, you don't. You you got what you you you, you got what you deserved. You know, you didn't fight in any of those fights. He fought the fights. You know, you came along for the ride. Now your ride's over. The fact is, we don't know. I don't know. Well, when I, when I heard from a doctor that it, it's not steroids that he's taking, but it's called blood doping. I said, what is, what is blood doping? He said, it's when you take blood out your body and you put it in the refrigerator and store it, and it allows your blood to get oxygen, more oxygen than what it normally would have in the body. And then it puts that blood back into that pack up. That's what the doctor told me. That's what he, he heard. That's what Manny Pacquiao was doing. I don't know how true it is. And I said, okay, but how is this blood doping when you're not mixing nothing in his blood? He said, it's illegal to take blood out your body and store it in the refrigerator to allow it to get oxygen and then put it back in your body. It's illegal to do that. There's tons of oxygen in water. And when you, like, if you put, put a two liter of, of, of uh, soda in the freezer, see what happens, you know? You're going to end up with, exactly, no more fizz. Yeah, exactly, yeah. I understand, I understand. It's just one of those gray areas, you know, where no one's ever going to understand. There's the, there's the majority of people 
who who love him and 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 believe in him and the people you know they still believe today i think he'll be he'll be floyd mayweather whatnot yeah that's fine it's good to believe in people you know we're not saying it's not you know everybody needs somebody but you know if the man did something wrong you know i think i think he should admit it you know but hey it's one of those things where we won't know until way down the line where he's already retired. 